The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is no stranger to utilizing enterprise solutions throughout our entire organization. From projects ranging from dredging the nation's waterways, delineating environmental impact areas, to flood risk management, and of course, emergency management. Back in October of 2018, when Hurricane Michael was bearing down on the Florida coast, we prototyped a force multiplier, an agile system, an enterprise GIS architecture we call the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Common Operating Platform, or UCOP for short. UCOP provides an authoritative environment to integrate multiple systems for a single unified platform. This allowed us to do something new, to manage our debris, housing, power, and other disaster-related missions using a repeatable and scalable solution. So imagine for a moment, you live in a coastal area impacted by a hurricane. After the hurricane, you return home to find your roof has been destroyed, ripped off from hurricane force winds. Now what? What do you do? Where do you go for help? Who do you contact? That's when the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers comes in. During a disaster, FEMA assigns us multiple missions to aid in the, discover in the recovery process. We can assist homeowners by quickly placing this blue fiber-reinforced plastic sheathing over damaged structures, protecting your property and allowing you to return home. We call this mission Operation Blue Roof. Now let me kick it over to my colleague Jason so he can explain how this process works. So during disasters, FEMA provides impacted residents with many useful resources. Say you did come home after the hurricane and you find you have roof damage. What do you do? Well, one of those resources will be our public facing sites page. Here you can find pertinent information regarding the Blue Roof program. Notice as I scroll down the page, you're first asked to fill out a right of entry application. This doubles as an application to the program, but also grants our workers access to your property. Here's a link to the digital form built in Survey123, as well as a map of physical sign-up locations. The form can open up in your phone's browser, but is also available in the Survey123 app. Here's where we'll enter your qualifying questions, such as whether or not the property is a condo or a timeshare, or if the roof is made of slate. You'll also be asked information for the inspectors, such if there's going to be dogs on the property, or whether or not the property is more than one story tall. That makes their jobs easier. Finally, you'll give your contact info and a yay or nay on if you want to proceed. We're just going to go ahead, sign, and submit this application. And right off the bat, the applicant will receive an email notification that has their contact info, the right of entry ID number, and links to check the status of their application or to cancel it if they'd like. And I'll turn it over to Noel so we can dive a bit deeper in how this is all wired. Communication is critical to the Corps of Engineers. We want to make sure that we engage our applicants every step of the way. The first step in the process is sending out the confirmation email that Jason just showed you. We generate that email using Survey123 webhooks integrated with IntegraMap which is constantly monitoring the Survey123 application for newly submitted applications. We customize our email to include important resources for our, application, our applicants. We take advantage of error checking, looking for invalid email addresses. If there is an error, Corps of Engineers staff is notified where they can reach out to the applicant, obtain the correct information, ensuring constant contact to the entire way. The next step in the process is for the Corps of Engineers to validate the application. Here you see our sites page for internal communication. On this page, you can see key information such as real-time assessment data. Another item on this page is our quality assurance quality control app we use to assign inspectors. Let's go ahead and assign the homeowner's application because they, like us, want it done yesterday. This is a simple, configurable web app that we use to assign inspectors to the new Blue Roof applications. Features are updated in the feature class, and at the same time, a text message is sent to alert the newly assigned inspector. This gives us the ability to task from a thousand miles away. 
So what's the homeowner see next? They'll receive another email notifying them that the application status has changed. And at any time, they can use this web app to check the progress of their application using their right of entry ID number and their last name. You can see here there's no personal identifiable information, or PII, within the web app. And at this point, you're probably thinking about how that's done. But spoiler alert, we're not just hiding the fields. We are actually removing and securing the homeowner's data as they apply. How are we automatically handling the data in real time? Well, let's go ahead and take a peek behind the curtain. GeoVent servers sometimes used to put dots on a map. We decided to do a little bit more. First, we pull in a full copy of the data to include signature, photos, and the applicant's PII, where it's protected from unauthorized access and backed up. Now, for the first time ever, we intentionally strip, physically remove an applicant's PII automatically in real time. We move a copy of the data externally for the right of entry status lookup application that we've seen earlier. Next, we utilize GeoVent to set the status field to pending for the next steps in the process. And finally, we configure GeoVent to communicate via email and text with the applicants, the Corps of Engineers, our contractors, through the different steps of the process, all the way through to final inspection. When we look back, this is our game changer. It's crucial for us to be in constant communication with FEMA throughout the entire process to prevent a duplication of efforts. This operations dashboard quickly informs our senior leadership. But now, now, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA can utilize this same technology to monitor the Blue Roof mission from start to finish in real time. Hurricane victims will be the focus of the intent of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers mission, putting people first. Thank you. Great. It's great, thank you. I really do appreciate this. I mean, one of the central themes of your work is also interoperability with other systems, connecting to other systems, getting open streams of data from a variety of sources, and then acting on it, right? This is, right. This is a theme that, that is worth noting. Thank you. 